I'm here with Lonnie this morning. Lonnie, tell me a little bit about what you do and for how long you've been doing it. Okay, well, um, I have a company called LMA Diverse Solutions. And what we do is that we counsel marginalized members of society about the next step on how to basically move up the corporate ladder in the hospitality industry. And it's geared towards the hospitality industry because I have 20 years of experience. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So teach what you know. <laughs> perfect, perfect. So, so who- uh, Go ahead. Who is the ideal customer for that business? The ideal customer is someone who didn't necessarily have the access to the knowledge, access to learning the basics, uh, Hotelier 101, and also to access for um, the soft skills that's required when you're going into a corporate environment. Um, the ecosystem of the hotel industry is very, very, very unique as far as you have one building that encompasses a lot of industries. Mm -hmm. So there's potential for growth for whatever position, whatever industry you want to go in, whether it be um, service industry, maintenance and engineering, uh, sales and marketing. And um, what I do is that I provide the soft skills that's necessary to mm -hmm. move until you can find the one, until you can find the one industry that you want to settle in because the skills mm -hmm. are transferable. But unfortunately, if you don't have that exposure, uh, then you, you don't know. So that's who my client is, is, is that someone who doesn't have the experience and it's not for the fault of anyone. They just don't have that exposure. And I'm here yeah. to help them. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, you're able to provide guidance and, and let them see kind of what the other options are and, and how to progress. Exactly, exactly. And then at that point, I have everything built and loaded up on my website and mm -hmm. it's complimentary. Um, I do put certain uh, topics out every now and mm -hmm. again, um, weekly so that you can take a look at it. And then what I do is that I have packages where I can coach you through, where mm -hmm. we can look at the content and we can look at, because it's a two way street, right? Uh, the results depend upon the amount of effort that you put into it. Um, so it's not just me talking at you. It's providing real life scenarios and you have to come to me with your issues. And then we can look and towards to navigate how to help them a lot better on how awesome. to do that. So that's that's my passion. Perfect. Perfect. So obviously the hospitality industry was greatly affected by COVID over the past several years. What type of impact did COVID have on your business and kind of in, in hospitality as a whole? In hospitality as a whole, it, it was devastating. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it had to do with the known, the, the known unknown. Mm -hmm. um, and just coming out of that experience, um, you're able to see a lot more clearly uh, where the deficits were. Yeah. Because you, as the leader, as the general manager of the hotel, um, you have to, in essence, do or know every single position, every single job of the property, yeah. because you scaled back on team members. So who has to do it? You have to do it. And yeah. so it gives you that inside knowledge of, what you actually have to go through to have a hotel run. And not only that, is that let's look at the value yeah. <laughs> that team members bring and look at what we're not paying them versus. And, and so it, it brings that up. Um, you know, we were greatly, greatly uh, devastated by yeah. this. And um, coming back to it, you've noticed that you're starting to see from the different uh, generations, the quiet quitting, all of these mm -hmm. types of things. And a lot of that has to do with not feeling valued. Mm -hmm. And with not feeling valued, not being able to communicate that. Yeah. And uh, not being able to basically take a look at what you want or what you need and how to communicate that so that people can understand and you don't come off as aggressive or come off as I want, I want, or I deserve. Um, yeah. There are ways to navigate that um, within, you know, corporate hotelier industry. Um, and so that's what I'm about. Um, I'm also too about allyship. Okay. And so it's not one-sided. It's to me, um, 
or my company, we focus on how can we resolve this issue, but knowing we mm -hmm. can't do it alone. Right. Knowing that we have to bring the owners and the management companies in and what can you do to assist us that we can have these types of programs, whereas people feel that, okay, that there is content that's directed towards me. Mm -hmm. There's content that takes my um, environment into consideration. Um, and we don't have that in the hospitality industry. Mm -hmm. And so my company, it's, it's, it's about allyship. I have relationships where I reach out and I ask, do you think this would be of some value to you? So that I can get feedback as well um, yeah. and to see how to tailor it. Uh, because again, it's, it's about togetherness. It's how can we solve this issue together? Um, yeah. You know, the hospitality industry, I mean, $168 billion just in lodging. Yeah. Um, so we have the funds to do it. Yeah. Um, it's just the, the commitment to it. And so my company highlights those areas that we kind of just think that it's a one size fits all so we can get this um, diversity program and it's going to work for everyone. Well, no, it's right. tailored towards the hospitality industry because we speak different language. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, that, that's awesome, creating that content that's specific and can kind of meet people where they're at and, and provide them that resource. Absolutely. So what have you learned since being in business for yourself? What, what's the biggest takeaway? The biggest takeaway <laughs> is that uh, do your research. Do your research, do your research, do your research 100%. Do a SWOT analysis. Um, have those tough conversations with yourself. Is this something mm -hmm. that you're capable of doing? What is sustainable? Your core mm -hmm. values, because everything is going to work around that core values. What do you represent? My core values is to be bold, think big, and pay it forward. Be bold, mm -hmm. go after uh, the that career that you want. Um, be bold about it. Ask questions. Don't worry about how you're going to be perceived because if you don't have that information, it really doesn't matter. Yeah. Think big. Don't think getting to the next step. Where do you see yourself in five years, in 10 years? And of course, paying it forward. Um, you can't do it alone. Yeah. And yeah. so you pay it forward so that we can teach the hoteliers that's coming up what to do. So that way it can kind of evaporate um, this heaviness that we have in the industry of the us against them. And no, we yeah. stand united. Uh, you know, it's the industry um, multicultural on every levels uh, yeah. from the team members to the clientele. And so there's, there has to be a way that we yeah. can get there. And uh, as yeah. long as you have your core values, so that everything else you bring back to the core values. Everything happens, you bring back to the core values because there's so much opportunity for your attention and your focus to be pulled away. Mm -hmm. That you're, you don't realize that there are levels to this and you mm -hmm. have to be engaged and finish the levels through because starting a business, you get pulled away all the time. So that's what I would... That's what I awesome. Awesome. Yeah, you, you touched on a key point of, of paying it forward and, and having that guidance. Has there been a, a coach or a mentor in your life that was very beneficial that you learned a lot from? Yes, I've had it, I've had several. And um, and uh, at one point in time, I made a video about them, um, about being so appreciative about them in my life. And yeah. um, Robin Carson, she worked for Anheuser-Busch and mm -hmm. uh, used to work for a hotel that she managed. And okay. I'm telling you, she was the vice president of marketing, which Anheuser-Busch Boys Club. <laughs> sure. So for her to get there at that point in time, Back in the 80s, she brought forth a diversity program. Okay. And it's just beyond my compre comprehension how far off, I mean, how far into the future yeah. that, she, that she thought about this and about equality. And uh, what I spoke about is that I have an Albert Smith. Um, he taught me a lot as far as to, you can ask those questions. And he had a way of answering it. He's uh, the president of hotel, 
of a hotel operations uh, for a company. And okay. imagine being at that level, but you have the, the skill where someone as a general manager can ask you a question that you can say, she should have known this, but doesn't yeah. interpret it like that. Let me guide you along the way and yeah. show you. Um, I had a Ray Valentino. Ray Valentino, my goodness, um, one word or one sentence, one phrase, uh, when I was taking on my first um, number two job in a hotel, mm -hmm. was it worth it? And I had to think about that. Was it worth it? With, with, with me moving up and whatever I have to give up in this industry, was it worth it? Um, whatever attitude that I had, because I had a pretty big, uh, you know, <laughs> in the end, the end result, you feel good at the moment, but was it worth it? You have to ask yourself these questions. And all of my mentors, you know, that they've been with the dominant social group. They weren't mm -hmm. African Americans. Um, they yeah. weren't multicultural. Um, they were, you know, um, the, the dominant social group, right? Yeah. The in-group. And, um, and so it was inspirational. And that's where I know like allyship comes in. It's just that we're not speaking the same language. So mm -hmm. how can we kind of connect to speak the same language? And that's where I want to come in. Yeah. Awesome. You, want... <laughs> you hear my dogs in the background? <laughs> oh, no worries. No worries. Not, not, it's not bad at all. So okay. <laughs> what, uh, what do you think the future looks like for you and your company? And, and what are some challenges you see moving forward? The future I see for my company is that I see having an army of diverse solutions coaches and that we go out into the hospitality industry and we have um, our content and we have that and we're able to have the, provide these solutions um, for companies so that we can have everyone aligned on what we're trying to do, which is to create an environment where everyone has an equal opportunity because we're able to provide um, information. We're able to provide a blueprint of what we need to do together um, in order for the paid forward to happen. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I see. I see my company being big, getting buy-in from corporations, getting buy-in from hotel managers, and so that we can do something and execute so that we actually see it, we actually see a, a growth when mm -hmm. it comes to that part of it within the hospitality industry, uh, yeah. because that's the main thing. We have these big groups. Can you excuse me one moment? Sure, sure. I think we may have to do this whole interview over again. <laughs> I Th there really hasn't been any background noise. It, it's been great. Um, mm -hmm. And I, so I send all these off and they get edited down and they'll be able to cut down any noise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but no, so you asked the question, what do I see? Mm -hmm. And that's what I see is that I'm able to have, have that go out into, go out into the atmosphere, go out into the hospitality industry so that we can start a dialogue where we're comfortable um, with asking the appropriate questions, where yeah. we're comfortable on both sides and how we receive that information because we see what the ultimate goal is. We see the context in behind why we're asking these questions instead of being turned off from it. And, and it's just that education piece that I want to be able to drive forward just as a resource uh, for the hospitality industry. Yeah, that's awesome. Having having that big goal to to aspire to and to guide you is is super important, especially as you're trying to build a business. Absolutely. And that's why I spoke about there are levels to it. Mm -hmm. And so if you're starting out a business, be extremely conscientious of that. Like when you're going right. and you're building out that that plan or building out your milestones and where you want to hit, be very, very realistic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't, you can't compare your level one to somebody else's level 10. No, you cannot. You cannot. You, so, And that's where making sure that you're knowledgeable and you're constantly studying and you're educated about it. That's where that comes in. Awesome. Awesome. Well, hey, thank you so much for joining me. Um, for anyone watching the video that wants to get in contact with you, what's the best way for them to do that? 
What you can do is that you can go on our website um, is www.lmadiversesolutions.com mm -hmm. and you just fill out a contact me form, send it out to us and we'll be able to get right in touch with you right away. Awesome. Awesome. Well, hey, Lonnie, I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, thank you. I would really, really had a great time ch chopping it up with you. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Bye. Bye now. Bye.